This is the, my brand new Bianchi XR4. I'm switching bikes, of course, but luckily I keep riding on Shimano, so I'm, I'm really happy with that. For two days I was in Dublin to visit my uh, brother-in-law, and uh, um, then I shifted gear, uh, and uh, the, the sound that it makes, it makes him so happy <laughs> to hear that. And it still makes me also happy. I mean, I've been riding for years already on electronic shifting, but it's still so special that... <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it's really nice. <laughs> I think for professional cyclists nowadays, uh, you cannot go without a power meter anymore. It's the training tool, um, even more than heart rate or speed or whatever. It's, it's power that's, that defines uh, how your trainer, uh, how you're training. With the Shimano power meter that I'm used to already from, from last year, um, and this year again, it's just uh, exactly what you need in a power meter. I mean, it's, it's, it's accurate. That's the, um, it's light, it's very well integrated into both, uh, both sides, so right and left. The calibration is very easy. Yeah, it's, it's perfect for me actually. Well, the pedals are, are the uh, part where you push all your power and your legs to, to the bike actually. Of course, they are a very important part of your bike and uh, they, they just need to be strong and durable, but also light at the same time. So, um, and Shimano did that uh, with those pedals, so it's all you need. Sometimes the geometry of the, of the different frames or the different brands is different, and then it makes it pretty difficult to get used to it, then it might take a couple of weeks. But if the geometry is pretty much the same and you get all the right uh, in the exact same positions as your last bike, then it's actually pretty easy. Then within a few days, it's it's uh, it's very easy to get used to to a new bike.